Oh, this side's a little bit further down, eh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very springy Loch Lochy. Uh, last time I was here, you weren't here, but yeah, not a leaf on the trees. And I tell you, with them leaves on, it looks beautiful. Some of the beech trees along here are so old. Autumn in mind. Um, but we are along to go photograph a lighthouse on a lock. Quite unusual, it's a little bit small. It's not as big as the, the sea lighthouses for obvious reasons on a lock. But yeah, makes for an interesting subject. And uh, here's the image I captured last time. Whoa. So this just behind me is the first sight you really see of the lighthouse. And like I said, it does kind of look like a white post box. Quite small, insignificant, but with the mountains in the background, it makes for a real good subject. The problem is, is composing it. Along the banks, there's lots of little beaches like this, which might look quite nice, considering the last time we were here, you couldn't really see any of this. It was just water up to the shores. So there might be compositions that I couldn't quite get before. But the composition that I really like is a bunch of campers just across the, across the water, which I'm vlogging with people camping there and watching. Um, and also it's kind of on somebody's land-ish. I don't think it really belongs to them and that's why there's not a sign saying private land. But they did come down and ask me what I was doing there last time. I'm sure we'll find something. There is this really cool boat. I don't know how long it's been here, but it's a massive shame the tree has fallen over and landed on it. I feel like somebody should definitely come and try and clear that away. Just for the photographers, you know? Imagine a real wide angle shot coming down with the bend in the background. That would look absolutely awesome. But you'd have to get rid of this tree. That tree was definitely ruining the shot. It is an absolutely beautiful evening. And I might not sound very exciting, I might be lowering my tone slightly. But that's because there's lots of people around rather than how beautiful this scene is. And uh, there's a little bit of something about it that I'm not sure about and I'll show you what that is. Okay, so this is the scene I have in front of me. I've got the, the Ben with this beautiful bit of glow going straight across the middle. Got the lighthouse just lowered in there. And then I've got a little bit of beach coming around into the post, into the lighthouse. Now, the relationship between the post and the lighthouse, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure if that works. I'm not sure if it works as a nice little leading line stepping up into the lighthouse, into the bend, or whether it's just, why have you got that there? So it might work, it might not. It might look bloody awful, but might also be a winner. So I'm gonna catch this image in a three part shot. One for the light, one for the clouds, and one for that shadows immediate foreground. One thing I am gonna try though, is I'm gonna try a long exposure to try and increase that reflection that I'm getting off the lighthouse. Okay, so I'm all set up. I've got my Nissi 10 stop on the front, my polarizer on as well. I've closed my viewfinder, which is super, super important when doing long exposures. I've set everything up. I've made sure that my manual focus and vibration control is turned off, set the timer on photo pills, and now two seconds, and that's two minutes 51 of exposure. So that means that should mean that I get a nice strong reflection of that lighthouse. 
And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move across and get a little bit closer to that pole and see if I can play around with having the pole on the bottom left hand corner and that lighthouse on the top right. See if I can play around with stuff like that. And just, you know, fingers crossed, get that banger. So just 10 seconds to go and that's the shot captured. In that time, we've had the wind pick up, a duck swim through the, the exposure, if that shot worked out. And it didn't really. So this is it up on screen. I think the problem is, is I was too far away from the subject itself. It's kind of just been lost. So I'm going to move closer and see if that shot can be done. So I've come across and I've had one thought straight away. And that one thought straight away is that the post is too tall. If the post was sitting just there and you had that water coming around the top of it, it would look okay. It would look good. It would work perfectly as a spot, spot into the mountains. Perfect. But what's happening is this is too tall. So it's covering the horizon line, breaking it up. Makes it look a bit rubbish to be honest. So I'm going to get this shot anyway, just because, you know, that I've captured it. Um, but I'm not giving it much weight, but it might end up being the best one. That's the funny thing right now in the field, you can have a feeling, but as soon as you get it back to a computer, that's when you find out. So actually as a long exposure, that works way better. Again, the shadows are very dark, but I can recover most of that. Um, but it works so much better than what was happening before, just because over there, I had so much beach and now I've got more water to slow down the exposure. Um, but I think I'm gonna capture one more image. And the image I'm gonna capture this time is I'm gonna get out of having things in the foreground, the immediate foreground. I'm just gonna have the subject and the background. And then hopefully the reflection in the water will be the foreground. So I've got my third and final shot all composed. I'm hoping the clouds aren't going to shift too much because I composed it so the clouds are pointing like an hourglass into the mountains. We had a little bit of movement in the wind. So that's why I'm not capturing anything at the moment. But the wind is starting to calm down. So I'm just going to get ready. 2 minutes 51, and there we are. So I got the final shot, and I got the reflections. And if you look at the comparison between this shot here and this shot with the reflections, it is worlds apart absolutely worlds apart and you know without them reflections it wouldn't have worked and by doing a long exposure you can increase the reflections on the water well, that's the plan anyway but that's my free shots lock locky lighthouse it's a bit of a mouthful isn't it lock locky lighthouse is captured the sky is getting redder but I find sometimes when it gets that intense red, it just starts to look a little bit... It looks nice and everything. But it looks a bit... I don't know. A bit like you're overcooking your images. I think people spend so much time doctoring their images these days. 
that even when you get the perfect light like this people just think you're faking it but it is quite beautiful isn't it but that is going to be all from me this week i hope you have a lovely week and you get out with your camera and uh yeah. peace out pips Thank you.